Hi, my name is Ashley Share, and I'm the founder and CEO of Share Love Fund. And we are going to continue our discussion of yoga philosophy, ethics, and lifestyle, and the subsection language, and talk about the word namaste. Namaste is a Sanskrit word, and it's the form of greeting or salutation that we use in yoga. Translated, it means I bow to you. And um, you may recognize sometimes we say namaste at the end of that class. We can put our hands in prayer position to our chest, um, as I showed. And um, it's a gesture of respect and also um, of integrity. When we um, do it with children, I often say you're honoring your own self. It's integrity in your own self, integrity for your own practice and thanking yourself for um, giving you this time to honor your mind and body and breath through movement. Um, sort of like a pat on the back. You know, sometimes we do something, hey, give yourself a pat on the back. Sometimes um, doing the namaste at the end, that can, um, that can be a pat on the back for the children. We can um, explain it in that context. The gesture can also uh, be without words. We don't have to say namaste. We could, um, you know, just put our hands together and bow. That might be more appropriate in certain school settings. Uh, you know, it's important to follow the guidelines of your school or if you're a caregiver, what the parent wants. Generally, at the end of a yoga session, the teacher will put their hands together and say namaste, and the students will respond namaste. And uh, that is uh, the teacher bowing to the students and the students bowing to the teacher. And the idea is um, that we can all learn something from everyone. Other people uh, translated this, made the light in me be the light in you. And um, it's um, not really um, generally like a submissive, I bow to you, but, um, but more of a internal honor of the practice and a recognition of gratitude for those that you've practiced with. Thank you for your time, namaste.